Battery life on notebooks and laptops running Linux has always been a hot topic. Many tell you that running Linux has increased their battery life, others tell you it's the same and some say it's just horrible. No matter in which category you fall with your own personal device, there's an easy way how you can drastically improve battery performance and I'm going to show it to you. Spoiler alert, if this method doesn't help on your system, then you might want to continue watching. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do is to install a package called TLP. For those of you who don't know it, TLP is a highly customizable optimization tool specifically designed to increase battery life by dynamically adjusting power settings and interacting with your hardware. It also supports different profiles depending on if your laptop is plugged in or running off its battery. In order to install TLP, we unfortunately need to use the command line. But no worries, just follow my steps. I first recommend you to look up if TLP is available on your Linux distribution and how the package is exactly called. On Fedora and its derivatives, we can do this with sudo dnf search tlp. It's usually the one that matches the closest to what we typed. So let's go ahead and install it with sudo dnf install tlp. Let's accept the prompts and it's already installed. In order for it to work however, we need to start it. Let's type sudo tlp start. As we can see, as it starts running, it automatically detects in which power mode we are, in my case wired, and it also applies the default settings, which are already optimized. However, there are also a few errors. The first one means the tlp won't start automatically after a reboot. Let's fix that by copying the given command and run it with sudo. Now tlp will run automatically as soon as you restart your PC. The other errors are typically coming from conflicts with other power settings that are in place by either your Linux distribution or desktop environment. This might not be a problem, but it's best to let tlp do its job without any third parties in the mix. So again, let's execute the shown commands with sudo. To verify, we can run tlp start again and we now see that all errors are gone. If we type sudo tlp stat, we can also see all the optimizations that are currently set. At the top, we have the default configuration. Beneath, we have our system details, the state of tlp, as well as the mode it's currently running in. There is also an application there called tlp-rdw, which is currently disabled. This is another program that can be installed via the terminal and is used to better interact with your radio devices, aka Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC, etc. Basically everything that allows your device to connect to either another one or the internet. And I recommend you to install it as well. If we scroll further down, then we might also see some package recommendations, which further extend TLP's capabilities. Let's install this package as well, since it allows us to get more information about our battery, which in return helps to optimize it. Once everything is installed, you're basically done and your Linux laptop should now be able to last way longer. But there is one thing about TLP that annoys me and I don't know why it has happened on every single device I've installed it on. Whenever I boot my PC, Bluetooth is enabled every time. So let's fix it, shall we? What you want to do is to open up a file browser of your choice, open up your main drive and the etsy directory. Search for a file called tlp.conf and open it. What we're looking for is a setting called devices to disable on startup. Let's remove the hashtag to set it active and only leave in the devices you want to disable, in my case Bluetooth, and save it. And now Bluetooth is no longer enabled by default when you start up your system. Alright, that was TLP. For me personally, the best method to increase battery life. I use it on any old laptop I have, as well as on my Microsoft Surface. And it really helps getting my battery life up to its advertised values, which was cut in half initially. But to be fair, I was watching a bunch of videos, which drained the battery quite a lot. Oh, that reminds me, check your drivers. If you have a laptop with an AMD GPU, or more precise, with an AMD APU, then you generally don't have to worry, since all the codecs and drivers are usually installed by default. On Intel, however, I discovered that not every Linux distro installs all hardware acceleration dependencies by default. 
which can drain the battery if you watch a lot of videos. To check if that's the case for you, you can install VA Info, which shows you if hardware acceleration is working on your system. Sometimes it's coming within another package, so it's best to again search for it. On my Surface, for example, running VA Info just returns a bunch of errors, so we need to install the corresponding VAAPI hardware acceleration package, which can be found with our package manager search functionality. After the installation, we now see that it's working. And yeah, I'm not going to cover NVIDIA since the proprietary driver should come with everything by default anyway. Okay, but what if you install TLP, all of its recommended packages and verify that hardware acceleration is indeed working, but your device still has poor battery life? Well, you could go down the rabbit hole and configure every single thing about TLP. Or you could also try another solution called Auto CPU Freak. It is another battery optimization tool, though it currently mostly focuses on just optimizing the CPU, which to be fair is usually the most power-hungry thing in a laptop. It is not recommended to run in combination with TLP, as some settings could cause some problems, so you have to remove one from your system. The installation itself is quite easy though. If you are on Ubuntu, then you can get it straight from the store. And on other distros, you just need to copy these two lines into a terminal. If you want Auto CPU Freak to always run in the background like TLP does, you can install it with Auto CPU Freak install. And it actually works pretty well. It also comes with a neat little GUI that shows you some statistics about your CPU load and you can also manually change the power profiles. Kinda neat. The reason on why I don't use it personally is that on my devices DLP always yielded better results due to it just considering more optimizations. But Auto CPU Freak is also on a good way and might even be better on some devices. One thing that I'd like to mention though is that some in the online community say that Auto CPU Freak is better because it supports Turbo Boost for power applications. It even says so on their GitHub page. But this is a misconception, as TLP also supports it. So now you know. Alright, before we finish this video off, I think we should answer the question. Why don't Linux distributions come with tools like TLP by default? Well, the answer is quite simple. Compatibility. As I mentioned earlier, TLP can't always increase battery life and can actually decrease it if not configured properly. The thing is, its default configuration is generally good and you usually don't have to touch anything, but it can't cover every single device, especially more recent hardware with new power saving options. It's not even recommended for my Surface, though I never encountered any issues personally. But that's why Linux distributions don't come with it by default. If you however buy a laptop, that comes with Linux pre-installed, maybe even a custom version of it as well, you generally get all those optimizations anyway and you might not even need TLP at all. If you do, then you now know how to increase its battery life. And that's where I leave it. If you've liked this video, then please don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to the channel and also share it with your friends and family. Let us show them how it's done. And like always, all that's left to say now is good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you are, I'll see you around.